All right, I'm going to use my new generator. Uh, now that I know that it goes up nice and high, 4.4 gigahertz, it's great. So uh, I have it set up to measure Bluetooth. So I have my iPhone here, and I have a uh, RFI probe here stuck on uh, where the uh, Bluetooth antenna is. And it's coming into a mixer. And so Bluetooth is starts at uh, 2.4 gigahertz and goes up uh, 83 megahertz on uh, upwards and it's it's spread spectrum and so i'm going to set the uh, local oscillator here to 2700 so 2700 minus 2400 should give us 300 so i've set up the uh, spectrum analyzer for 300 megahertz and here is the spectrum analyzer and you can see that we're getting some data transfer here at, at uh, 300 megahertz. That's right in the center and below. So this is a subtractive thing. So we're starting at 2700. And as we go up, we actually go down because we do a subtraction with the mixer. So higher frequency is to the left, lower frequency is to the right uh, when you do this type of thing. Now, I've already let it run for a while on, on, uh, on max hold. So this is what the spectrum looks like if you do a max hold for, for like 10 minutes. It fills in the whole thing. So if we use a marker, uh, let's see here. We want marker on the B channel. So let's see here, trace. We'll go to B. Uh, let's see, let's turn off A so we, don't, aren't, we aren't confused. A, let's blank A. And here's our B trace, and we'll use a marker on it. There we go. And so we'll set it here at 300 megahertz, All right? So uh, there's there's 300 megahertz, and then we'll do a delta function, and we'll go to the other side. It should be about 83, 83 megahertz uh, different. It's 82 megahertz. So so that is the entire Bluetooth spectrum. And uh, so using the external mixer once again, uh, this is a much cleaner setup that I had before though. Uh, sorry. It allows me to set a, a, a precise frequency very accurately and I can go higher. So I can go up to 4.4 and then I can down convert it to 1.8. So uh, um, yeah, this is gonna be really, really useful in this way. And it's a real super simple uh, setup. If you want to set this up, you do need to choose your uh, mixer to have the right frequency range. Uh, so this one is set up so that the, uh, the inputs uh, can go between two and a half and five gigahertz, and then it can down convert it between uh, one, uh, zero and one gigahertz. So it's perfect for this type of setup.